guys, welcome back to the Glam Channel. I'm super excited for this week. I'm going to show you how to go from a simple day look to a night look with a smoky eye. Now let's get started. To do this week's look, we're going to be using Stila's in the light eyeshadow palette. You're also going to need a good fluffy brush. I also like to use this one. This is from Smashbox. It's double ended. So I like that just because you get two in one. We're also going to be using Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. And again, the NYX liquid eyeliner. We're also going to be using Stila's Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in Stingray. And last but not least, we're going to be using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because you can't have a smoky eye without amazing lashes. So the first thing that we're going to do today is take the eyeshadow primer and put a little bit on your hand. Then you're going to put a little bit of the primer on your finger and put it all over your eyelid. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our palette. I'm going to be using Stila's. You can use any eyeshadow palette that you'd like. I recommend using a lighter shadow and darker shadows. This way you can create a smoky eye. I was just at Target and I noticed that e.l.f. has a good day to night eyeshadow palette. And you can get this. It costs you about $5. It's not going to break your bank. And that way you can still get this amazing look. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of Bare, which is this kind of color. It's a really light, neutral shade, and you're going to put it over your entire eyelid. So now that we have Bare all over our eye, we're going to take the next color, Bliss. And we're going to take this and we're going to start putting this into our crease. If you can't find your crease, just open your eye slightly, right here and you can see where that crease should be. The key to getting a good smoky eye is having an amazing brush. Now that we have a good light to dark color and our crease is slightly filled, we're going to start moving on to the darker colors. So next I'm going to use this one, Sandstone, and I'm just going to slightly put a little bit of the color on the brush and tap it off. And now just start working into that crease. And remember, it's always easier to build up your smoky eye. Don't start too dark because once you go too dark, it's a lot harder to take off and you don't want to have to wipe your entire eye off. If you start lighter, you can just gradually build your smoky eye and make it as smoky as you'd like. This is when I like to take my other fluffy brush and slightly just blend out the dark line so that way it doesn't have too harsh of a defined line. Next, I'm going to use this color, which is called Luster. Remember, pat off your brush so you don't have fallout on your face. I always like to start and dab into the corner of my eye, just so that way the color is all deposited right where you put it. Again, use your other brush and blend everything out so you have a very nice blended smoky eye. Now we're going to use black, which is ebony on this palette. And this is where I like to use this brush, and this brush comes in handy. I like to just slightly dab a touch of color onto it, and just work it into that crease right there. By doing this, you're just going to give your eye a little bit more definition, and a little more pop. take our other fluffy brush and start to blend everything together. Now I'm going to go in and use Night Sky just to give my eye a touch more pop. Now that we're done with the top of our eye, we're going to move down to our waterline and take out our Stila waterproof eyeliner and line the inside of our waterline. This way, we're going to create a nice smoky eye. I can blend out the dark line on the bottom. Now 
we're going to take our eyeliner and slightly line at our lash line just to create a fuller looking lash. The last step will be to take your mascara, slightly coat your eyelashes, As you can see, we are now done and we've created an amazing smoky eye. Remember, you don't have to use this palette in order to achieve this look. You can use any colors that you like and you will be able to do this amazing smoky eye. We'll see you next week. Say bye, Laurel. Bye. Say bye. He isn't too thrilled about it again.